and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Sejuani. We got a brand new deck with the new patch. Now uh, we have Vladimir um, that uh, whenever it attacks, it drains. Oh, it's only leveled up Vladimir that's draining. I guess I didn't realize that. I thought it was both sides of Vladimir that attacks and drains. I guess it's just leveled up Vladimir whenever it attacks. It drains one from the enemy nexus, so it already wasn't like a huge buff, and now now it's only affecting half of the card. It's even less of a buff, but oh well, whatever. Vladimir is awesome, and there's a lot of uh, cool self damage cards in both Freljord and Noxus, and so I wanted to build a deck um, that kind of took advantage of of all of that stuff, and so we're gonna put Vladimir and Sejuani together. Um, and then you'll know, have like these Crimson cards, your Ruthless Raider um, plus Ember Maiden, like that kind of combo and everything like that. I'm going to try to Unscarred Reaver as like a new one drop. I feel like we'll probably be able to have this thing survive damage and get pumped up. I don't know. It may not be. It may not be good, but I'm going to give that a try. Um, playing like the, the other top end besides Vladimir and Sejuani was kind of hard to put together. Babbling Bjerg seems like a good card because we're drawing a unit with 5 plus powers. So we're basically always drawing Vladimir or Sejuani, you know, drawing one of our champions. You know, so it's basically 4 mana in treat plus you get a 3-3. Three, three. But sometimes we'll get Cato the Arm. I'm not sure about this Cato the Arm. It was just kind of like the, the other card, you know, like looking through all of like the 4, 5, and 6 mana cards. It's just the one that I kind of decided to go with. I felt like like pumping up, like if we should be doing a, a decent amount of jam damage and we're going to be aggressive. And so getting like that extra uh, plus three, plus zero and overwhelm can be important. Um, and it could be really good with Vladimir because, you know, people just chump block Vladimir all the time. Like that happens. So giving Vladimir overwhelm could, could help make sure like this extra Nexus damage um, finishes the job. Um, kind of filled it in with with some different interaction. We got you know elixir of irons and transfusions to help protect our things and help make them bigger. Um, yeah, we'll just kind of see how this goes. I'm I'm worried that like we don't have enough top end. I'm worried that we don't have good enough removal. I'm not I'm not sure. So I'm not sure how this will really play. Um, but let's see. New Vladimir with Sejuani. No, there's there's no kind of like game like commander for legends of runeterra right now right now it's just um you know regular 1v1 and then there's also the draft mode there's basically two modes you can play you know you can play you know either ranked or normal play player versus player or you can be doing uh expeditions the, the draft mode all right elixir of iron's pretty awesome honestly i like this hand but the problem with this hand is you know, all the other things to do. But Elixir of Iron is pretty awesome. If we keep this hand and then we draw, like, nothing but spells, that will be bad. Let's mulligan one Elixir of Iron. Good. Okay, go with the Scar Mother. Okay, y'all think that Scar Mother is super underrated? At the top end. I could go with that over the cat of the arm. I could do that. We could go with Scar Mother. I'll try anyone. You're gonna make it rain? Man, this is just an all-in fizz deck, isn't it? They're gonna be. Are they splashing Freljord for yeah, entreat for fizz and then battle fury? This is all in fizz, isn't it? Could be interesting. I hope they tap out, and then we get to play Ember Maiden and it kills the fizz at the beginning of their. Uh, turn. I don't know what they would tap out with, but I hope they do. Oh 
Oh yeah, Starlet Seer. Yeah, Battle Fury, Starlet Seer, Elixir of Iron. They could have like Fury of the North. Yeah, the Hecarim deck's being uploaded to YouTube now. So I think they did that. They wanted to get Fizz damage because of... I'm guessing that they have uh, the Take Heart. Like, maybe they have Take Heart? I hope not. I hope this kills Fizz. That'd be awesome. Wow, it's going to kill Fizz. Sweet. Shared spoils could make it so, like, you always grab Fizz if, like, Fizz is your only thing. You just have, like, shared spoils and entreats to find him. That's actually pretty sweet. Yeah, shared spoils, it doesn't matter how far down they are. Just grab them. Okay, that's actually pretty sweet. I think I'm supposed to play Vladimir and then attack. Maybe Elixir of Iron, the Crimson Disciple. Drain for four. Perfect. Glad I saved that elixir of iron for Crimson Disciple. Blessed by snow and stars. Look what you so that's two there. Vladimir drains for three. But then also the Crimson Disciple does two, so just this Crimson Pack does five damage. Three from Vladimir, two from the Crimson Disciple. So 
there we go, GG's. For Vladimir Sejuani. Your taste is impeccable. It's a pretty interesting deck for, from my opponent. Maybe I'll have to make a deck like that for Meme Tier Monday. All in Fizz. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool idea. Correct. Yeah, it's an ally that has crimson in the name. Yep. Yeah. No, not champions. Correct. Like any of those crimson cards. Like there. Like there's what four of them. Right. There's the two two drops, the three drop, and the four drop. I think like those are the cards that um, Crimson Curator makes. No. Yeah. You can't create extra Vlads. Just like. Uh, Swiftwing Lancer, even though it says create an elite and Garen is an elite, it does not create Garen. So it's, it's a non-champion elite. You can't create a Garen. I thought you could create a Garen for like the longest time. A pretty sweet deck here, Zed, Sedjuani. I basically liked, you know, we didn't have anything to do on turn one. We can save the Elixir of Iron, but then I, I like our 2 3 4 curve. This, of course, isn't the best card to play on turn two. I'd rather have Crimson Disciple, but it's fine. I have the name. I need the reputation. That's just. It's like my favorite thing to do is Omen Hawk into 3 4 Starlet Seer. It's not fair. Like, that's, that's what I always do. We see through all. Oh man, we are so dead. It was right on my tail. Double Starlet's here, so dead. Hey, Shade. These eyes see all. Blessed by snow and stars. Ouch. My four drop can't even block their two drop. Hello, my darling. That's pretty nice, though. Babbling beard drawing Vladimir for us. That's pretty nice. The order what? 5-5 five, five Shadow Assassin? Clear it out. It's like not even fair at all. Bottoms off. Fly away while you can. Dude, this this hand from my from my opponent is just the absolute dream, right? Turn one Omen Hawk. Uh then you have two Starlet Seers, the Chariot Spoils, it's just the dream. Okay, so we're going to... I don't know why they're doing Crying Face. I don't, I don't understand. Time's made me wiser, not patient.
got some options here. You own what you take. Carved from the savage cold. Still kill Vladimir with their five two. I, I think these I think like just all this these free pumps from the Starlet here is just gonna result in us losing this game. We we have some cards to do stuff. Uh, is Lee Sin any good? I mean, yeah, Lee Sin is, is just fine. I I think that uh, like Lee, I think Lee Sin kind of got worse from the patch um, with uh, with deep meditation costing more mana now, and with maybe like Ezreal starting to make a comeback. I think that Face could be bad coward. for um, Lee Sin, but. Yeah, just face value, like the car is is good. Torch it! All of it! Leave only ashes and dust. Hey Shade, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I have not tried Lee Sin with Overwhelm, no. Ten mana. Dance in the flames. The calm before the storm. I would like to do the Death Lotus. The problem with doing the Death Lotus is I got like this thing stays alive by a whole lot. That's eh, probably not that big of a deal. Yeah, basically that Omen Hawk just stays a six-five. 
I really wish like we could do this three damage here also. Taken five and kill the Omen Hawk, but I don't think it's probably worth taking five. So, do I make an, a random Crimson card or I turn this into a four four? I think I try to high roll and get a new Empire. Crimson card. Maybe get another thing that does like one damage and give something plus two plus zero or something like that. I think we need another card. <laughs> you for the men. Yep, gotta get used to those early streams. Well, that's unfortunate. Not, not the best time for a Crimson Disciple. So be great Vladimir right now. Yeah, so early streams every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. I refuse. Did I already do damage to my opponent this turn? Oh, I guess I did with the Demolitionist, didn't I? Right. I was, like, seeing the Sejuani is 4 to 5 and thinking that it was going to um, level up, but that's not the case. Ugh! Can't just draw something that does one damage. I thought this was—I thought this was going to be the two drop that you know. I thought this was Imperial Demolitionist when I first saw it, because that's the two drop we need. So obviously, we're dead now, but um, so close. Wrong two drop. One damage. So close. I think that was a really a good showing for our deck, though. They had just such an ideal start, and we came really close to winning that. One one point of damage off. I think it really showed how uh, strong these these Crimson cards can be. Yeah, Transfusion would have been burst speed win. Oh man, Transfusion would have been perfect. Yeah, that would have been that would have been the perfect draw. keep this hand? Do I want two two mana cards if I curve like one, two, three? Maybe not. And if not, which two drop do I put back? The Ruthless Raider? Or like, do I want that and try to find another two drop and then have like one, two, three, and then turn four, I go double two drop? Like I play that Ruthless Raider and have Transfusion? Maybe we should have kept that Raider. Yeah, me too. I'm I am 
disappointed. Like I didn't, I didn't quite realize that the drain only is leveled up Vlad and not every Vlad, and I'm so a little disappointed about that. I'd much rather have that Ruthless Raider than Death Lotus for this matchup, but who knows? Maybe they'll make a bunch of three-one turrets, and then the Death Lotus saves us. You never know. Yeah, I, di I didn't realize that. I love a taste of the action. It's not bad. They spent, you know, a three mana and a get excited and a mystic shot to do to deal with my two drop. Not bad. Dear, what have you got us into now? So I'm not gonna play the Omen Hawk. You must Obviously playing Omen Hawk's better than not playing Omen Hawk, but I really want the two mana for transfusion this turn. Delish. Do I just preemptively transfusion this Omen Hawk? They just do that and have no spells, it's 14 damage. Yes, yeah, so they got a block with Heimerdinger. Get those chump blocks in. If they're going to be chump blocking with Heimerdinger, this is a pretty poor block. Okay, they're using twin disciples. To say they should, they if it was going to be a chump block, they should switch and have Shadow Assassin actually kill something. But. Oh, Lord and Master. Shadow. See, maybe Death Lotus is going to save us from these floor beyonds. What do you think about Callista plus Remembrance? Um, I like it. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Sorry, Sejuani. I'm gonna kill these things instead of playing you. Sure, takes up their whole turn. Embrace you. Elgato, Tremendo, with the Twitch Prime resub. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping that sub going. Five awesome months for our fifth sub of the day. All right, hit that sub goal already today. That is great that we're going to mark that down towards the next 12-hour stream. So, this could be... If they have a den like basically, if they don't have deny, they lose. If they do have deny, we could be in trouble because like if they, oh no no no, because if they deny the Vladimir trigger, that means all my things stay alive, right? Like they don't, my things don't die and they don't take damage, right? So okay, so we're probably good. They'd have to like deny that plus have a couple of removal spells, or maybe uh, they can't have deny plus spirits refuge. That's eight mana. It'll be turn seven. They can't have that. Ugh. 
because the Spirit's Refuge, you really want, you need to attack with your weak things first. Don't like attack with Vladimir first and they get to block it in Spirit's Refuge and then, and everything. Make them, if they want to like block in Spirit's Refuge, they have to block my, my little 1-1. One, one. So the other things can come in for some more damage. Well, that's a good draw. It's not me, it's you. So attack weak to strong. This kills them, they have to do something about it, and then we have Death's End also. Should be game. Our decks looked really good. Even our loss. It took a lot of awesome stuff from our, from our opponent to win, and we still put them down to one. Decks look good. Why are people all in all about? Heimerding or Lee Sin these days, I guess. Oh, my hawk. Had it the whole time. I'm glad they didn't block Omen Hawk, to be honest. <laughs> I'm pretty glad they didn't. Everyone pleads for the right prize. Yeah, 4 1 with the new Hecarim. Oh, man. It was right on my tail. So many good options. Why can't we have more mana? They have the, the combo, and they put the thing into play, so be it. All right, they do not. What seems to be the problem? Hmm. So to one Vladimir or two other things. Get like Ruthless Raider and Crimson Curator. Attack. Interesting solution. <sighs> Could have dealt the damage to the Crimson Curator. That Omen Hawk was already gonna die. 
and I didn't really want to reduce the toughness. You know, we have Vlad and all that kind of stuff. So it looks like we have a lot of transfusions. Vladimir's champion spell transfusion. Play middle Vladimir. And you must be supper. Yeah, double transfusion on this Crimson Disciple could be nice. Right, Given that challenger. Like they really want to kill my Vladimir, I guess. Groundbreaking invention to date. <laughs> Night falls. All right, Vladimir dead. One mana short of saving it. That's not bad. You must be Lord Honestly, pretty great. All right, because I can do the two damage burst speed with this. Okay, yeah, they're tapped out. They're dead. Yeah, Vlad also goes with Demacia with, with the tough cards from Demacia. I mean, so this is... I mean, that's just lethal right there. I don't even have to. Like, I can do five damage to them with the Transfusion and Auction Fervor. I don't even have to. It's just four damage from Crimson Pack, two from Crimson Disciple. Yeah, Swain and Vladimir mix really well together. Um, you know, like, the the Demacia version with Tuff, that's why I've been playing, is Swain and Vladimir for the champions. Just this deck, you could play Swain instead of playing Sejuani. With basically playing the same deck, the same principle. Yeah, they, they work well together. Three and one. Vladimir's looking good. More Heimerdinger. Everybody's all about this Heimerdinger these days. That's what it looks like. All right, let's get rid of Kato. I don't know. Keep Kato? No, get rid of Kato. Get rid of Demolitionist. That's, that's a good one drop. I learn my scars. I'll prove myself to the war mother. I wish I had like the, the Fiora Kamani mode. After that, mm. for 
the Empire. I think I kind of want to wait on Ember Maiden until they like have turret, like Heimerdinger turrets. Alright, our, our one drop traded with Mystic Shot and dealt two damage to them. It's about, about how it goes. Boom, boom. All right, we'll play Number Maiden now. It does just make their removal better. But we get, you know, one damage from the Ember Maiden, another trigger from the Crimson Disciples, two more damage there. Yeah, um, the deck we just played, Ephemeral Midrange, that was the Hecarim deck that we just played and, and went to 4-1. and one. We could have Thermogenic Beam to kill Vladimir, you must be which would be unfortunate. And you must be suffer. But especially drawing the Sejuani, you know, like we can play Sejuani the next turn, just kind of curve with those. Some big things that are difficult to deal with. Ah, the sweet smell of science. Have Heimerdinger could block there. They could have this claws block here. Let's see. So if we attack here, they take four. That thing's dead. And I have, I have Vladimir. They have Heimerdinger, and they just took four. Or make it three and keep this alive. Oh, they're taking six. Not going to block with Heimerdinger. Well, they're in Noxian Fervor range now. No, I haven't. I have not played Endure Hecarim. <laughs> you played since beta, and you have zero Hecarims. Dang. Vi stands for vicious. So, if I go for an auction fervor. If I try Noxion Fervor, and if they have, um, if they have Health Potion, then I'm kind of in trouble, because then Vi kills my Vladimir. 
I guess I'm not in that much trouble. I'm kind of in trouble. Mm, not in that much trouble. I force them to have health potion because next turn I'd still have Sejuani plus Fury of the North. If I don't play Ember Maiden, I would still have the mana for Sejuani plus Fury of the North. Your taste is impeccable. All right, GGs. And another 4-1 with an updated champion, Vladimir. I think our deck is just pretty good. You know, it's a good aggressive deck. Uh, we never did anything with Cato the Arm. That's the slot that I'm I'm still, like, really not sure about. Um, people in chat were talking about um, Scarmother, Scarmother Verena. Ver, or, I don't know. Scarmother being an underrated card and a card that's really good. Um and so I, I would be happy with, with trading that out if you'd like. The other cool thing about trading that out is that Babbling Bjerg doesn't get you Cato the Arm. You know, I don't really want to draw Cato. I want to draw Vladimir and Sejuani with Babbling Bjerg. So that could be cool, just, just trading that out, playing Scar Mother instead. Um, and not getting hit. You know, it's a, it's a good threat that doesn't get hit by Babbling Bjerg. I could also be, I could also be convinced with playing a lot of other things too. I'm... I just, I don't really know what to do with that slot. Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not sure what to do there. Um, I do have, like, Kato says 5-4, but it's, you know, Kato's secretly an 8-4, you know, because, you know, it gets to attack and give something else plus 3, plus 0, overwhelm. And, you know, giving that other thing overwhelm could make blocks really, really difficult for the opponent. So I could, I could definitely see Kato being good. I don't know. Um, besides that, could play another removal spell if you feel like you need it. Like, I didn't play a Noxian Guillotine, but that, that's an option. Death Sand looked really good. I could see playing a second Death Sand. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, the rest of the deck I really liked. Um, Noxian Fervor looked pretty decent, too. Could play another Noxian Fervor. I'll just try Scar Mother next time. I like how it doesn't get hit by Babbling Bjerg, but it's still a big threat. I like that. Okay, yeah. Yeah, y'all 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 are fans of Scar Mother. All right. We'll try with Scar Mother later. But there we go. That's Vladimir Sejuani. Um Awesome. Yeah, like just just a pretty decent deck and, and a fun deck to play. I like these Freljord Noxus decks. Like these are these are fun decks to play. Um Yeah, Guillotine I don't feel like this is a very good guillotine deck. This 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 deck doesn't do like one damage to the opponent stuff that often. Like sure we have like Ember Maiden, but without that, yeah, I, I don't think this is a very good guillotine deck. Um all right. Vladimir, looking great. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Um feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of Scar Mother V Verena. If you've been playing this card before, let me know how this card plays for you. And, uh, you know, if you like that more than Cat of the Arm, just like other things to do with Vladimir or just, uh, you know, other decks that you're enjoying after the patch. You know, I always like seeing those comments from the lovely folks over on YouTube. But thank you so much for watching some Vladimir Sejuani, and I'll see you for the next video.